Welcome back. You're still with us on Business 360. In the last 10 years, the government has come up with a slew of welfare and social upliftment schemes targeting various weaker sections of the society. But implementi implementation of these many schemes has not been smooth. CNBC TV 18's Tim C. Jepuria, who caught up with V. Srinivas, Secretary to the Department of Administrative Reforms and Public Grievance, reports that the government's rural housing scheme and the scheme giving minimum income support to farmers have seen the most complaints. Take a look. Whether it's the pro-farmer PM Kisan scheme or the PM Awaz Yojana aimed at providing affordable housing or any of the other social welfare schemes announced by the government in the last 10 years, implementation has been a big challenge. And this is evident in the number of complaints and grievances recorded by the Department of Administrative Reforms and Public Grievance. The worst pain points for the government Going by the number of grievances recorded on the Centralized Public Grievance Redress and Monitoring System or CPGRAMS in just the first six months of this year are the PM Avas Yojana, especially the scheme dealing with the rural housing. Over 4.79 lakh complaints have been registered against it. The PM Kisan, which promises minimum income support of 6,000 rupees per year to farmers, is a distant second with a little under 52,000 grievances. The other top spots go to complaints related to Employ Provident Fund Organization or EPFO, which are mainly to do with problems pertaining to withdrawals and timely payments, banking-related complaints and reports of banking and credit card frauds. The big priority sector programs like the Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana Grameen, which receives a huge number of requests for considering them for eligibility under the housing scheme. In the priority sector programs, Jaljeevan Mission and uh, PM Kisan, these are two programs where uh, citizens are approaching government to consider their claims. The grievances largely pertain to priority sector programs, wherein which uh, citizens are seeking uh, enhanced uh, delivery of services. There are also grievances that pertain to employee-related grievances like EPFO. The government has recorded a spike in grievances in the run-up to the elections. The portal receives on an average 1,80,000 to 2 lakh grievances every month. So this year, in the past uh, six months, we have received around 14 lakh grievances have been received on the portal. The numbers uh, it, across the years, there is a, the, what we do notice is, in terms of uh, central sector, uh, uh, central ministries and uh, grievances, we have hit largely a plateau in terms of about 20 lakh grievances per annum. And roughly uh, 1.8 to 2 lakh grievances per month is what we have been receiving. The highest we have received uh, was 1.94 lakh grievances in the month of March uh, 2024. The highest complaints relate to the PM Avas Yojana and range from name not included to survey not being conducted to delay in payment of installments for each level of construction. For the PM Kisan scheme, the most common complaints have been that beneficiaries have suddenly stopped receiving installments, that bank details not getting uploaded and saved, and that the state government has not approved beneficiary details beyond the initial few stages. But the department's biggest worry is not the large number of grievances that relate to these schemes. We have been in uh, constant communication with the Department of Financial Services. Even this morning, we did have a review of the uh, progress that has been achieved across various ministries in terms of effective redressal of public grievances. And uh, the Department of Financial Services has indicated that tremendous emphasis is being placed in their interactions with the Reserve Bank of India mm. to ensure that the ombudsman as also the uh, grievance officers who are monitoring uh, this particular category of grievances is fully activated to protect citizen interests. The Secretary says the DFS and RBI are working to reduce, address and help citizens and are actively pushing to spread awareness and crack down on such cases of fraud. But this does not mean the other grievances are being ignored. 
the government is getting ready to enhance the scope of many of these welfare schemes. And this means it will have to not only clear the backlog of grievances, but also push for smoother implementation at the ground level. Because unless the wrinkles are ironed out on priority, the expanded schemes will run into a lot more problems, leaving more dissatisfied, disgruntled and angry citizens in their wakes. In New Delhi, Tim C. Jaipuria. To the big political story of the day, 